My name is Teresa Lockwood. I reside in Violent, New Jersey. And um, I'm actually going to record this because this was tampered with. The thing is, I don't I don't know. I haven't clicked on it yet. I don't know if it was tampered later or at the time. Look, I, this is what I'm going to say. Um, the Violent, New Jersey Police Department and their minion chaplains um, and their uh, false evil... Uh, 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 false Christians, which who are not Christian, have been hacked into my computer for many, many years. Um, and they, they've been editing my videos. I mean, the thing is, is that they are manipulating situations um, and apparently trying to falsely accuse me what I'm uh, rightly accusing them of, okay? Um, and their hate crimes and persecution against me. Um, excuse me. And, um, they're trying to flip it backwards because I taught religion for what it is, apart, uh, from the false teachings of their false version of religion. Um, the thing is, is that I have been, I first noticed my videos like a number of years ago, um, being altered and hacked, um, when I made a video about religion. And when I use <clears throat> when I say so, like talk about other people's self-claimed religion, which is not religion, I all you will usually quote it, uh, uh, so-called religion, um, as they claim to be religious or religion or whatever, um, or you know, in the likeness like that. Okay, um, I've actually been um attacked first in the violent uh violent first church uh of the nazarene now calling themselves violent nazarene raymond church um over uh um the teachings about religion and i'm trying to I'm actually I, I didn't actually think about it now so it's just like I remember it because I was just like you know I, I was like these false things are being said about religion against religion about what's recorded in the Bible. And I was in a violent first church in Nazarene and I was first attacked over uh uh um religion um by a false minister Lee King who basically like gaslighted lighted me, like mentally abused me, um, harassed me, slandered me, did all kinds of things or whatever. And uh so the thing is, I just want to throw a few things in here because I'm actually going to record. I don't know if I can enlarge this page. I'm going to sit there and enlarge this. Um, so the thing is, is that I know for a fact this is altered. Um, for, so far as I know, it doesn't have a later altered date. But I did not use religion in this way. If it was, like, altered at the time, I do not know. I know there was videos that I made that was around this time. And it was between maybe, like, 2009, 2011. And they actually hacked into my computer. And I basically quoted, like, this uh, in religion. But they altered and spliced my videos to make it sound like I was speaking against religion. Or calling these other self-claimed religions religion. Okay, which I was not. And I even made it a point and pointed out, I'm like, there you go, right there. Because they didn't cut out the part where I said so-called religion. Okay, and they altered my video um, when I was mentioning religion. And making it sound like I was calling these other things religion. I was sitting there speaking against them being a religion. I was speaking against, like... Catholics being a religion since I was in that church. I didn't I don't think I actually had the conversation and mentioned it to them. Um but there was like a dispute over like ca the Catholicism and Christianity and they were attacking me because I wouldn't accept their false uh founder uh John Wesley or whatever because their doctrines were basically conflicting against Christ. Like it was an attack on Christ and an attack also on victims of domestic violence, which I was a victim of domestic violence. It was very, very abusive. And on top of that, I was being abused also by them. So, um, the thing is, I actually started before the present, uh, false minister, William Clay, um, came into that church. Um, anyway, so the thing is, is that, um, I'm going to record this and I just want to let you know. I started, I, look, 
I basically started calling myself a mystic, right? Because I was first called a mystic by my abuser, Lee King, a false teacher in the Von Nazarene Ramus Church. Um, he was, like, attacking my spiritual poetry. He was, um, um, attacking my, uh, language and how I spoke. And he was sitting there, to, you know, speaking against metaphors and telling me not to say the word like and as. Basically, when I would use something uh, metaphorical, apparently now I have, like, 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 like. I do that a lot in my speech. Unfortunately, I should not do that because I basically did know that, you know, I mean, whatever you do is going to conform you. Um, so, a, a cousin of, like, the proverb, whatever you justify in your mind, and, 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 and whatever you justify, no, I'm sorry. I'm trying to, like, think of the, the proverb I used. Because the thing is, the proverb that I had to use did not fit to every situation as the proverb that was used. Um, so I had to um, uh, use a proverb uh, by the spirit within me to uh, fit a situation. So um, it's, not a, it's not that... No, it's not that proverb. It's a completely different principle, but there's a connection. It's just, it's you know has a it's a different principle, but it's the same principle. Anyway, the thing is is that it says um 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 ah those who justify evil over good evil will not leave your house. I think I said that right. So, it's the same principle either way. Um, and then not take anything away from it um, and its purpose and point. So, the thing is, I was first called a mystic in an attacking way um, um, by this call of the Violent Nazarene Raymond Church. Now, I only related it to mystic um, with uh, mysteries in the Bible. As as far as I basically went is basically understanding what that is. I never heard the word before. Never. All right. So the thing is, is that um, when I was called a mystic, I started looking it up in the library. And it was really horrible because when I was looking it up, it had all these Catholics and they weren't mystics. According to what mystic is supposed to be. The thing is, when I'm called a mystic uh, by this false abusive uh, false teacher, Lee King... Um, he basically also false, uh, falsely accused me of being a witch. Yes. For teaching scripture and giving knowledge, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of God by the Spirit. And, um, the thing is, no, I was not taught that in churches, by the way. I actually, I had to break down the Bible and challenge the Bible to see if it was true or not. Because if it was the garbage that was in the churches, I was basically going to speak against the Bible. But I found that the Bible is a holy and of God. Um, and actually against all the churches. That's what I come to find when I broke it down. I started doing that when I was 19. Um, and I wanted to specialize in basically against cult abuse and Bible abuse. Because I grew up with that. Perverting twisting scripture. That is very, very harmful. So, um, the thing is, is that I started breaking down the Bible to see what it was, and that it was either I was going to destroy it and expose it, or I was going to, you know, um, you know, teach it for what it is against the Bible piece of it, and, and, and that, that's what happened. I basically come to correct ever since then, like, all the false teachings that I grew up with, and basically that they falsely claimed in the Bible that is not in the Bible. So, the thing is, when I was in this church... Um, the, I was that I was called a mystic. The strange thing that happened is though about like around this time, like between like two thousand and nine and two thousand eleven and twelve, I started being attacked online, and I wasn't telling people that I was a mystic at the time at all. Right, I was basically being attacked online, um, and being called a mystic. For my spiritual teachings, enlightening them, the exact same thing. Um, and they were sitting there saying mysticism is basically witchcraft. I was teaching the gospel of Christ against their false teachings. Okay, so this was what happened at a number. I mean, I'm talking about uh, probably around like five, six, seven people attacked me like throughout these few years or whatever. And I'm just like, so I actually started using a word and um, I basically even made a meme or whatever called Misfit Mystic, right? So I put it up there and uh, it's like they're they're attacking me for Christ. It's like, you know, and doing all these things. So 
I mean, I think it was before that that I started started researching like like mystics, like mystics, and it was all connected to the Catholic Church. And the thing is, I was realizing and reading through it, it was just like they're false mystics. Like, what? And that's when I started discovering like all the patterns of the Catholic church and everything that they teaching was burying everything that was holy and true of God. And it was like, really, it was a, it was a very disturbing experience to actually encounter as I basically started researching them and researching them. And I, of course I spoke against, you know, how uh, the words of these mystics were like very empty or they tried to uh, seem very flowery and even spoke about, you know, all oh, the mountains and the flowers and things like that. And I spoke, I actually wrote about that on my uh, on Facebook. I don't know if I can find it. I, there, I have these people hacked my computer, deleted a lot of things that I wrote about. I'm trying to find a lot of them. It's hard to actually find. But the thing is, let me go to the video. I did this video, and I was saying when I refer to other self, those who claim to be religion, or religions, or other religions, I quote it. I'm not saying I do it every time or whatever. I'll say so-called. It gets very exhausting. Um, and yes, there are some patterns that I know in my writing where I did not use quotes uh, properly, where I should have used them. Um, and the thing is, is that it, yeah, it messes up what I'm trying to say. So there's actually another one I found. I actually really believe that um, I, I, did, I did not use quotes when I should have. But I know for a fact, I did not say this. Okay, I know for a fact because I have been consistently teaching the same thing about religion um, and what it is because they were like imprisoning religion. And the thing is, I even wrote it to this cult, uh, false pastor who basically, you know, I was like, religion is to bound the laws of uh, the laws uh, people are bound by. And there's like laws that people are bound by that give liberty. And then there's, of course, the lawless who has an illusion of liberty. Okay, this is where you get the, like, the liberals. They think they're free because they're, you know, they have no respect for the laws or, you know, they're, they're opposed to like all these laws or whatever. But they're actually oppressing and like refusing freedom. Because they want to be free from the law. Okay? So, um, I mean, I've had... I've wrote throughout the years, like, different teachings of that. Like, I have a insightful, uh, full substance of many teachings on religion. So, the thing is, it's just that... I mean, I'm coming up through all these things where... Oh, I'm sorry. Th these are not my writings. And I don't know if they were altering my works when they altered the video... Um, that I caught, well, there was a number of them that they were altering and editing. And it was very, very upsetting. And they keep doing it throughout the years, and they're still doing it today. Um, I think more frequent, frequently in my videos, or whatever, they just did another one recently, um, which I basically spoke against the Violent Nazarene Rainbow Church um, and their false doctrines, claiming that, oh, you, they're using little false memes, cliches, or whatever, that God called David the adulterer, or whatever, Oh, that's how they portrayed it, they'll sit there and say, you know, um, David was an adulterer, you know, and then quote this whole, uh, God calls, um, uh, I, I, I can't get into that, um, I just put it on my post, I mean, I should just, like, open it, I don't know, like, I, you know, I want to explain these different things. I want, I actually want to say so many things, and I really don't have time to put them in these videos. And it basically kind of, um, throws me off. It's, it's, it's really terrible. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm just going to record this real quick. But, um, it's really terrible. And the thing is, it's like, I made a video, and I basically, uh, made a statement that, um, they're basically falsely claiming, um, um, oh, how was it? Let me just record this. I want to, let me get this out of the way so I can push past this thought. <laughs> okay. So, um, the thing is, is that, uh, oh, um, all right, get that out of the way. So, my, they actually edited my videos and put in not because I basically was speaking against them. I don't know if I should even put it on this video. Um, I was really upset. Upset. Um, yeah, I wrote on here that the video has been hacked. Um, because I basically... They were... I was speaking against them for like uh, 20 years. 
the violent Nazarene church for, I mean, that's where basically the argument began when I was starting to be an attacked. And I basically kindly, not even like in, I'm not in this, like this tone here. I was more like a softer in tone or whatever and submitting or whatever and, uh, sharing, uh, my views. And, um, and so the thing is, is that, um, they were attacking me, trying to convince me that God died on the cross. And, um, so, um, yeah, let me just record this. I'm just going to record this and enlarge it. Uh, uh, so my video is going to be playing. So, um, so, yeah. on the ground like really i don't know what that you know what people are just like i know because i even double read that and whatever i mean i could miss over things i miss over things trying to do things when i'm tired but um yeah no that's not the principle here this is i took like a lot of time with this so the thing is is that um yeah they they were um yeah, I had no intention of basically calling myself a mystic or going around. I still don't do that. I don't go around sitting there. Oh, I'm a mystic. I only say that um, when people are being, like, attacking against, like, mysticism. And the Von Calvary Chapel made an attack, and they're sitting there putting false definitions. It's just slander. Slander me for being a mystic or whatever. I'm like, oh, well, you're speaking against the teachings of Christ um, or whatever because you're not of the mysteries of the kingdom of God. And, uh, they continuously slander God. They per committed hate crimes against me, but they made up lies that, oh, well, oh, mysticism is a box and, um, making up, this is Anthony uh, Apollo of Calvary Chapel. And they were just making abusive little, uh, uh, evil comments. And they're basically still covering up their, um, uh, evil false doctrines or whatever. Um, attacking Christianity, sitting there saying, like, I mean, it was echoed from, like, these fraudulent Pentecostals, but, um, claiming that, uh, you know, um, Jesus nailed the, the law to the cross, and, uh, they don't have to, like, uh, be obedient to the law while they're committing crimes against me and sinning against me, and claiming they're under grace and forgiven, which is a bold-faced lie. So, um, yeah, so Frank Apollo wound up, um, copying and reading through, like, for a very long time, Romans 8, um, continuously, because I actually used it, and it was echoed, actually, through a lot of churches after I read it online, so apparently a lot of people try to, like, copy it, but they still, they're infecting what it says, so, anyway, I record this, and I don't know what's changed in here, um, yeah, and I don't believe in the Kabbalah, but this is rightly said, so it has to be, like, interpreted for, um, I'll probably say it. I'm not really sure because I do have knowledge. Um, and, um, as evil by the, and more, uh, by more enlightened Jews. Ah, what? They're altering. Oh my gosh, man. What they did is disgusting. So apparently they basically mangled this um they're sick these people are sick um yeah mysticism is basically uh from the israelite um teachings um this is sickening what they did to this this is a sacred writing that they just desecrated and profaned and altered um they're hacked into my computer and they've been hacking my computer this is the uh, william clay uh the Valley of new jersey police department and uh what they did is sick they're sickening so, I wrote this in 2009, but this is not my writing, and they're altering it. So, um, yeah, I was like, going to go to it, and then open it, and, uh, it's really sick what they're doing. I didn't write that. This is what they put. Mysticism is also uh, related to ideas of the Kabbalah, which is uh, coined as evil by the more enlightened Jews. That's not what I wrote. And um, they're going to hell. They're going to hell for that. They, they're, these people are anti-theist atheists. And they're going to hell for what they're doing. They're going to freaking hell. <laughs> So, because they're evil, you can't you can't sit there and be of God. And these people are claiming to be of God and doing this to me. And uh, they're lying. 
But, um, yeah, I did write about the enlightened Jews and basically, uh, mysticism of Jewish, and I did never even sat there and spoke against, like, Jewish mystics or whatever, and I learned about that, yes, later than when I was in the church or whatever. Um, probably around the same that I basically was, um, had to look at more, uh, mysticism when I saw these Catholic mysticism and they're not mystics. And, um, so I came around across writings about, um, uh, mystic, uh, Jews or whatever, writing about them and realized that Catholics were mimicking and mocking, um, Jewish mysticism, which no, I'm not against because I am a mystic. And, um, <laughs> This is what they do. They profane everything holy. I mean, I'm a mystic, and they're persecuting me, and they're basically, it's almost, it's equal to rape. It is equal to rape, what they're doing. So, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna record this. This is what they did to my work. Uh, huh. Hypocrisy. Yep. Definitely is. Hold on. I have a um I don't mind that being there. Uh Okay, I can record this. Let me read uh I don't know if I want to record this. This has been altered. <sighs> and this was also stolen from me because they were misteaching it in a Von Nazarene church, claiming and there is the church is basically claiming that 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 God killed like these innocent little children or whatever these babies or whatever, and it was then echoed by the Von Nazarene church not too long ago by their false minister, uh, Sutter Satterfield or whatever her name is, <clears throat> but this is from 2012 because I basically basically been correcting this for. Um, um, for a well, while, for many years, even in this church, um, when I was attending there, um, and I went through it like with a lot of the anti theist atheists, uh, yeah, and some grown up in churches. Oh, this is what happened. This is, you know, what your God did. And that, that's why we're atheists. Like, this is what they say. And it's just like, I'm saying, that's our Bible does not say that. First born was like the inheritance to, um, the throne or the elite, and it was not about infants, innocent infants, or anything like that. And you're getting it wrong because the thing is, I sit there and tell them, I say, um, I said, uh, you have no problem of the Egyptians basically slaughtering the innocent. The thing is, that's not what God did here. It's not even talking about little children, but you're backwards. So I'm just like, me. <sighs> So, uh, let me just put that on there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do. I do believe in mercy killing when it basically destroys humanity. Um,. But, um, okay, so I'm going to click on this. This is, um, this is altered. I'm sorry. That was a sacred work, and, um, I mean, they pervert our Bible. What do you expect? But, um, these are my, uh, art. uh, this is not my writings. I am a mystic, period. And no, not because they even claimed I am or anything else like that, but, um, I mean, I'm not going to sit there they're going to try to put a false definition and a false word on what a mystic is, and they're attacking me because of my insight. And, um... Um, the Psychiatric Association... So, I don't know how much has changed. The thing is, is that, um... 
You see, I mean, you can see with the consistency of the rest of my, um, I'm just going to, um, record this. Um, this is more because the thing is the psychiatric association attacks well, Christianity, Christian mystics is what they do. And, um, I don't know why this is not going down. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me just, okay. Uh. Usually wrote it <clears throat> July 18, 2019. False knowledge killing humanity. And they are. Uh, this is more work that I did on Gnosticism because there's a lot of confusion. And actually it was um, falsely taught and ignorantly by, well, my persecutors of On Nazarene Church from uh, William Clay. Um, and... The thing is, is that um, there is a lot of confusion around Gnosticism and, you know, there's just Gnosis or whatever of those who are commonly talking about the, you know, um, the Gnostics and things like that. And we're much coming uh, actually later than their claims. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I mean, just because uh, some and, and, and the word is usually, it was used later. I'm talking about, um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um because I have, like, so much, uh, things. Okay. Let me just, I do this, though. I'm trying to rush, and because my time is just ticking, so. Um. So. <laughs> how do I say this? Um. And what it was t taught in, um, the teachings, uh, that was basically distorted and confused by the William Clay the main base word comes from, um, well, gnosis, knowledge, okay? Well, you know what? I'm just going to record it. I'm going to record this first, but then I'm going to go on. <sighs> I did not say this. This is that, I did not say that. That's not my words. Um, I completely taught religion the same, laws of the good conscience, and I actually have it open to this guy here, because this guy was covering up and stealing my work, and he's repeating it to reflect back. Um, I'm going to record this too. You know what? I don't know. I'm going to record this in the middle of it, and then I'm going to go back to that. He was stealing my work, okay? After I spoke against him, he was condemning the law. He made up lies and was manipulating and then claiming that, oh, oh, oh well, well, it's not talking about the laws of God in their heart. After I basically, and the thing is, he would go back and forth hypocritically about the laws of God. Like, he would condemn the laws of God. Then teach on the laws of God when I basically correct him and go back and forth. So, the thing is, is that um, he's actually copying my words. I use this against him. I'm, I actually just um, printed it whereabouts when I use it because I would actually... Uh, print Bible verses against these churches' false teachings that were making up all these lies. So then they would go up back, copy my work, and then sit there and speak against it again. So then he he was actually he actually condemned the conscience. Whatever word that I used, or if it was recognized of me, or said of me that was good and right, he would come by, and other of uh, the fraudulent Pentecostals would just like with this mental disorder say the opposite. And slander me against any word I say. This is a mental disorder behavior. I'm going to do another video on that. Um, and then they will sit there and slander me. And then say, oh, oh, you're delusional. Because I corrected them. And this is a habitual psychopathy on their part. Um, slandering me and then having me falsely accused. This is actually the, the mental disorder crazy people in the violent New Jersey Police Department. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to write about this. I mean, I'm sorry. Read, read about this. Read about this. I'm just going to put it on video. Okay. So he's covering up and he gets thrown off because I read this. So he reads it and he does this all the time. 
It's like when I'm sitting there and I quote the verse, like, they reward evil for good and good for evil, ran from behind the pulpit and said, oh, they reward evil for good and good for evil. Act like he's speaking against it. He's been doing this for years. So this isn't just about all of his sermons. And he can't line it up. And then he tries to justify his slanderous lie previously. So, and he's pretending he's speaking on the laws of God, but he actually condemned the laws of God and did it not only before this, but after this. You know, I'm going to, I should, uh, should record it. Let me go to, I'm going to record this first. Should I put from the online encyclopedia? I mean, Wikipedia. Now, I don't use Wikipedia. I will use it because it has basics. And then our uh, research further. Um, um, the thing is, what is basically a basic, this is basically referring to a basic statement, like, you know, just a meaning of something or whatever. Um, um, okay. Yeah, it's just a basic. So, um, I do not recommend Wikipedia to be like your one source information. You should like critique like a lot of things. I mean, they have basics like that's identified. This is actually identified, right? So, um, I'm going to go on. Now, let me see. Um, yeah, it's true. It, it, that's really interesting that they had mysticism and may have a dualistic, um, uh, be dualistic, maintaining a distinction between the self and the divine. I'm not going to use the word divine. It's another thing people are confused about. Um, it's okay. I'm going to go on. Um, or may it not be dualistic. Um, different religious uh, traditions. See, that's where they have different, differing uh, religious traditions. Well, they're safe, self claimed. They are going to be like. I don't expect. Like I understand from the perspective of Wikipedia, how they're going to be more broader and basically religious because, and uh, why, uh, like, uh, calling them uh, religious, people can't stick a stand, basically, in many areas. Um, the thing is, if, if you make a false claim about it and basically trying to justify them as all well, religious, that's a different thing. But the thing is, it's just that... Um, I have to, I can't go, I can't go on because this is 32 minutes. I got to uh, do another um, explanation on that. But I'm going to just record this. Okay. So, uh, more of my teachings that speak it against God being free people, which I was attacked in the Divine Nazarene Church. I was first attacked around the year 2000. Um, so, um, that's when it all started. Um, and I didn't know that these, these people, I didn't know nothing about these churches that they go around abusing and slandering and like persecuting people. If you don't claim that, Jesus is God. Um, I didn't experience that. I was in a very abusive cult. They will attack you. You talk to, to speak against their evil. But um, I don't even want to make this video about that. But um, the thing is, is that um, uh, I never had the experience that um, it wasn't actually much discussed about these claims, these false claims that Jesus is God. Now, yes, they had that belief. Uh, claiming like Jesus, God, God is three people and God died on the cross or whatever. I, I was not, uh, connected to that at that time. It wasn't like a thing that was, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I went to, you know, that was like, I was an abusive cult, but I went to another church called like the Trinity Baptist church. Um, and, uh, it was just, um, a name, you know. Um, I, I mean, I, that was, I was young then I was around seven or eight. So it's not like I, um, 
um, knew that it was talking about like God being three people or anything. I didn't have knowledge that they had claims of that then. So this is Frank Apollo I'm manipulating. I'm going to go back to this and record this. All right. But like I said, at this point, like what they do, their ungodly mental abuse is like they'll connect like any word that you say and then just make up a lie against uh, connecting to this single word and put their own meaning on it. They do the exact same thing to our Bible. So it's really, really, really disturbing. Um, it is a witness that they are not of God, not believers of God um, at all and exposes them. So I'm going to just I'm going to record this. Is placed inside of each one of us. Heard on. the law with Gentiles who, that which we would rather others not see or know about us. It's a concealed or an inward way in which we really think. <laughs> and sometimes those inward thoughts can be good, and sometimes they're not so good. He's covering the point up. That I want to make today. He's covering up him attacking the law, manipulating. And then him basically attacking the conscience and the loss of conscience. That's what he's doing. He's covering it up. Is that these secrets, these inward thoughts, are often influenced by the conscience. Now Paul is hammering home the point about the conscience as a way of answering a question. He doesn't know anything about Paul. He made up so many lies about Paul. Um, and did all these things and try to justify, even after this, try to justify, um, Paul, uh, falsely claiming that Paul, like, uh, uh, talked about, like, abolishing the law and all these other stuff or whatever, and try to twist scripture or whatever, and he went before this or whatever, and after this about Romans, uh, 8, when he was condemning the law, I actually used Romans 8 and said, because, because they were lying and basically saying that, you know, um, they can't keep the law. That's why God abolished. I mean, I'm sorry. Jesus abolished the law when he was he nailed the law to the cross or whatever. They're again co covering that up. I'm going to do another video on that. But they're lying, and then they're sitting there making up and manipulating words because they were trying to run to all these other false doctrines of Calvinism and stuff like that. And they're lying and trying to sit there and claim that oh, people may think that when we teach uh, predestination um, that we're teaching the Calvinist doctrine, and then they're sitting there teaching my doctrines. That I corrected them on against um, um, their false doctrines of Calvinist doctrines. So I'm going to do another video on that. So that is typically on everyone's minds and sometimes on on everyone's lips. That question is: What about those who have never been exposed to God's law or have never heard the gospel of Jesus Christ? How is it possible for them to be judged fairly by God? Well, in answer to that, the Apostle Paul said in verse 14, when Gentiles who do not have the law by nature do the things in the law, these, although not having the law, are a law to themselves. They show that the work of the law is written in their hearts their conscience bearing witness to this between themselves their thoughts accusing or else excusing them in other words there is this conscience inside of each one of us with or without the law that's irrelevant the con uh he just explained that it is the law conscience is there the conscience is what is going to condemn those who have never heard the law who have never heard the gospel and what condemns them is that they actually ignore this inner law that we call the conscience, and thus they violate their own conscience. That's what the Apostle Paul is saying. What about those who've never heard the law? Oh, what about those who never heard the, uh, the uh, gospel of Jesus Christ? Well, they have a conscience. And they're going to be condemned or judged according to their very own conscience. They are a law to themselves. They have this law inside of them not the law of god it's the law of nature the law of right and wrong that god has placed inside of each one of them you see not the law of god are you serious no yes by the law of god it's the law of god 
So he's lying and he's manipulating. And I mean, it's just, I'm going to go on. I'm going to do another video um, and, because this is like 40 minutes. But um, he he has no idea what he's talking about. He was condemning the laws of God, by the way, though. Just want to let you know that. And he did it after this. Then he tried to cover it up again. He's been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, trying to sit there and cover up his slander against God and God's laws.